Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. Now, this vlog is going to be long. I implore you to listen to the very end. We have a lot to reveal in this video. In this video, we are not going to be driving. We are going to be showing you some images. A family is seeking answers. By now, you would have heard that Constable Noel Maitland, he was arrested yesterday. We are going to wait until the allegations are outlined before we say anything else on that matter. What is going to happen next in that case is that he will be doing what is called a question and answer with the police. This question and answer cannot be done unless his attorney is present. I can guarantee you from now that the only question Noel Maitland is going to answer is when the police investigators ask him, what is your name? The police officers who are investigating the case, they are going to be asking him about a hundred other questions and his response is going to be, I reserve my right to answer that question or something like that because he's now officially a suspect and suspects are not obliged to answer any question. Anyway, we are going to be getting back to that case in another video. So it was announced yesterday that Noel Maitland, he was taken into police custody. Chantel Blake McCullough's sister, she posted this on her social media page. If you look on the screen, we are also going to be reading it. The post said, I have one question to ask. What evidence do you have on Noel for 13 days that you do not have on Shane McCullough for 7 months? Is it because we never go up on social media, go call up nobody name? Is it because we never show up nobody and them evil dirty deeds? What is it? We are not somebody we need answers. We give you the chance for the owner job and owner take we for puppet. Uno take we for clown. Uno take we for fool. Seven God for Satan months and nothing with such a clear cut case. With one DNA result, we can't come back all now after how many months? Uno no done cook up where Uno come tell we. As far as me concerned, Andre Stevens and social media should be the DSP and they should form the JCF. They bring more justice and give better answers to the citizens of this country. I guess this was too much for the JCF to cover up. So, you all had to be forced to do your job. She went on to tag the JCF and the Prime Minister in her post. Now, we subsequently did an interview with Chantel's sister. We are going to be playing the interview in its entirety. Now, if you don't know what we are talking about, Chantel Blake Makala, she was reported missing from January of this year. The last person to have seen her alive that we know of is her husband, Shane Makala. Sounds familiar? So, here is the interview. And remember, hit on the like button as also share this video because we need justice for Chantel. Here goes. Yeah, man. Um, how are you, how you, how you doing, first of all? Well... To be honest with you, it's rough. I can understand. It's rough. I understand. I understand. You, you, are, are, have you been able to, to speak with the kids? All right, no, I, no, haven't seen them. Haven't spoken to them. So you don't know where they are? I have no idea. Mm. And um, the police, the police say anything since um, since they, they, they found the, the, some some skeletal remains or something? Did they say anything to you? Well. Three different samples were taken at three different times as it relates to doing a, doing a DNA. And it has been months now and we haven't gotten any result. They just keep saying that we have to just wait. We just have to wait. And I don't know why it's taking so long. Let me ask you, um, are you of the view that what was discovered is, is, is the remains of, of your sister? I am 100% sure that it's her. T t tell me why you feel that. Why you feel that way? Because it's not coincident. The day, um, a day before they found the remains, mm -hmm. I was communicating with the detective that's on the case, mm -hmm. and he had told me that they had a track his phone and they picked that um, they pick up satellite in the same area where. Yeah, um, hold on, hold remains. on, hold on, hold on. Let me clarify. They, they had tracked whose phone? 
my sister's husband's phone, Shane's phone. So they attracted the day that he was supposed to, the day that he's claiming that he dropped her off. Right, but I don't know if it's that day that okay. they pick up. I don't know if it's the date, but they're tracking on the phone and mm-hmm. lead them to the to the same place up in that district where Signal was picked up on his phone. Oh. And they even said that they were planning on having a search team go up there to search the area. Yes. And the following day, them just they found the remains. So I don't think it's coincidence. Second to that, mm-hmm. it's the same place that he's from, and he's very familiar with the area. And third to that. The, the the um the blows and the pants that was found it is something that would fit my sister my grandmother could identify the blows it's yeah. the same size that she wears so it's not just coincidence you said they found who who was it that found her her remains it was a young man stating that he was going to the bush or something and he saw the skull and then he started running and calling people and that's so how they called the police so the police told you like the day before that they were planning on getting a search team to go there but that then, is correct, up uh, in that area. But then it was found by a young man the other day. That is correct. Okay, okay. Um, What is your view about how the police is handling this? Atrocious. Listen to me. If I, if I could leave this place and never look back, I would leave this place right now. I have never been so disappointed. I have never felt so ashamed in my entire life. Mm-hmm. I mean, when we were first on social media, they keep saying that we're compromising the case. And what's the art that we could allow it? You mm-hmm. understand me? We could give them time to do them investigation. They ain't doing anything. They're not doing anything. Me refuse to understand how it is that you have so much on this man, but yet still you're not even can have him as a listed, as a suspect. This man has traveled every country in the world. Mm-hmm. You understand me? He mm-hmm. have so much liberty. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Nobody now can see that say, no man, something to write, write yourself. You understand me? Mm-hmm. The email that my sister sent my mom, the voice note that my auntie recorded him. You understand me? So the, the email, the email, the email, the email, it was, it was sent by your sister to your mom? To my mom. And she, when she sent it to my mom, she said, mommy, I'm going to just send me the email just in case anything happened to me. No, let's take a break right here. Because I am sure that a lot of you are wondering what email is she talking about. Here is the email that Chantel's sister is saying that her sister sent to Shane and forwarded to her mom. It says, Dear Shane, First, I want to start by saying that I truly care about you and you will always have a special place in my heart. You are a kind soul. And someone like you is truly hard to find. I am sure we both can agree that the past year has been a rocky one and something none of us ever experienced before. With this said, I truly feel like this relationship is at an unrepairable state and this is not doing us nor the children any good. The kids have seen us fight and quarrel more than how they study their ABCs. I truly need this to stop. I feel we can both be phenomenal parents if we are separated. This is not the life I imagined for me nor my children. Jada basically despise you and I am sure it is because of the things we do and say in front of them. I am asking you please to understand my position and let us separate amicably for the benefit of our five children. I would prefer if you write your response. Now remember that Chantel and Shane, they had four children together plus Shane. He had a child before. Now you realize that she was asking him to write his response. My view as to why she wanted him to write his response is that she also wanted to forward his response to her mother and anyone else She had forwarded the message that she sent to Shane. She wanted to forward Shane's response to those persons. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what she said to my mom. It's known for him to be abusive. You Mm -hmm. understand me? Mm -hmm. And up until now, nothing. Seven months and nothing. You said it's known. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Last night, when we heard the news say, this um, fifth daily of the talk about, they have adequate evidence 
me say me no know how me not have heart attack because we've been struggling with that word for the past several months and we have more than enough um evidence. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Yes. Me speak with this man myself and the man give me him me word to say that he will do a start. Yes, you spoke with you spoke with nothing. you spoke with Fitz Bailey himself? Yes, I spoke with him, I went to his office and mm -hmm. I spoke with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he gave me his word that he will be doing a thorough investigation. He might go make sure he him do it and he might go take it up on himself to ensure that it's done. And nothing. How long, how long, how long ago was that? How long ago? Months. And, 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 and have you gotten any feedback from him? I spoke with him maybe a day or two after I went by his office and he mm -hmm. stated that he got um, the MID on the case. And after that, I don't hear anything more. I've been just communicating with the MID. No, all right. The, the, MI, the, MI, the MID is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a. Do you know who definitely is dealing with the case? Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and, and you have spoken to that person personally? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, a while ago, you said um, Shane has been abusive. Why you say that? Because my grandmother has witnessed him being abusive. There was that instance where he boxed my sister at Andre's restaurant and the police was called. Mm -hmm. You understand? He boxed her. Boxed her at the restaurant? Yeah, and, and the police were called. Mm -hmm. The kids witnessed this because they said it and they said it to my grandmother. You mm -hmm. understand me? Mm -hmm. And one time I can remember when my sister put something on her status saying she can't bad word bother. Mm -hmm. She just sick and tired of it. So mm -hmm. maybe like, um, this is not you. You understand? She's not that type of person. She don't really talk out and she don't talk much. Mm -hmm. So me seeing she putting that on her status, we call her at the same time. I'm going to be like, what's up? And my mommy call her at the same time. Mm -hmm. And all three of us was on the phone, and she was saying, um, she's sick and tired of it. A month now, she has got through this in oh. kick her in boxer. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what she said. And my mommy said to her, Look here, carry the kids, them come give me. He said, Chantel said to me that he said he would give her three million dollars for her to leave. I said, Look here. Don't take the three million dollar. I will give you my NHD contribution, and you put whatever you have on it, and you go and get somewhere for the kids. The man leave. You understand me? How long ago? How long ago was that? How, how long ago was that before? Jan it was when January sixth that she went missing. Yeah, that was uh, what year? Twenty. That was in about. I think it was about a year ago because it was when I just started my new job. Okay. 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 I think it was about a year ago. Yeah. And oh boy, uh, so and and since then, was there you and I had any conversation about him being abusive or anything since that time? Well, one time I can remember when um, I spoke with her, and they when I was at the house, her daughter um, ran in the room, and the daughter say, "Mommy, calling the police." Mm -hmm. You understand me? Because she just came on. She said, Mommy, calling the police. Mm -hmm. And I said, What do you mean you're calling the police? And she said, um, Oh, inbox her. So I said, What do you mean by inbox you and the baby in the car and whatever? But you see, my sister, she, it, sometimes I wonder if, if something wrong with her brain because him do this this second mm -hmm. and tomorrow you look them good like gold. I need and to clear. I need to clear. I need to clear up something. Sorry about that. Sorry for cut you. But, um, if you notice, sometimes, I don't know if I read some of the comments, but persons were saying that uh, it seemed as if you were not so close. Is there a reason? Because, you know, twins normally have this bond. Yeah. yeah what what mm -hmm. happened? What happened? From the inception of Shane McCalla, my sister and I, the relationship went, went east. From the oh. inset, from the very moment my sister behold that man, the relationship between us was broken. And that is why I don't like him. Okay, okay. Because he had an intention and he knew who he could do that with. Because mm -hmm. he saw that she was the weaker one. He mm -hmm. had an intention from the minute he stepped inside the family. He had an intention. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He would say things to her about me. Like, he would say, don't talk to me. She barely talk to me. Things that I know mm -hmm. is things that me have to go out of my way to find out. And when I say to her, then she can't really deny it because it's obvious. Mm -hmm. And when she gets enough, she will probably speak out. But since the inception, she get married. Him tell her not to tell me. She pregnant. Him tell really? her not so to tell on. me. When, when they were married, your family didn't know about it? No, we didn't know about it. Mm. We didn't know about it. It was only my grandmother, and he told my grandmother not to tell anyone. One of us, mm -hmm. and my sister called me the morning, mm -hmm. telling me the morning of the, the, the wedding, because it was a private wedding, yes. the morning to say that she's going to get married. I felt so disrespected. Mm -hmm. But all I, I know it wasn't just her doing, because I know her. I mean, no, she had just 
I just even first to to do things. The type of person you know Shane is towards your sister. You feel that Shane is going to let off your sister on a, on a, on a bypass road and just No, drive. not possible. Mm. He is very insecure. You yeah. don't see my sister and you don't see him. Mm-hmm. If my sister comes into my house, he has to come. Mm-hmm. You don't see my sister without him. That is why I said to him, but that don't make any sense. Yeah. I said, you can't look for me and tell me, say, you leave her funny bypass, because I know you're not doing that. I said, that don't make no sense. Mm-hmm. And from the minute you tell me that, I know that something right, because that don't make no sense, and he's not going to do that. And the recorded conversation with your auntie and, and him, he said something about going to the lawyer. Was there an issue with um, your sister and no lawyer, no credit card, like, like people have been saying? Right, so... This is from him, you know, because my sister is not around, so we don't yeah, even yeah. know this mm-hmm. exists. Mm-hmm. He stated that um, someone, ha- the first story that he gave us was someone hacking to my sister's credit um, account and stole how much money and she's going to sue the person and she's back and forth with the person as it relates to the matter. Mm-hmm. So I said to him, when he talked, because the first story was that he took her to the lawyer's office and that's where he left her. Yes. I said to him, all right, give me the lawyer number or give me the address and I'm going to find out if there's any surveillance camera there. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. That's when he said to me, he never reached the lawyer office as yet. He ended up got to Old Harbor and he left her at the exit of the Old Harbor tool. Mm-hmm. That's when he added in that story. Mm-hmm. Right? And I in turn said to him, but Shane, that doesn't make any sense because you're not carrying Shante to leave her upon the tool. But say not even a carrier come and buy her, come leave her by herself, much as a carrier go leave her upon the tool. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to do that. Mm-hmm. And then he say, um, the same person with a car credit card she have a fear with mm-hmm. how much money she get a person mm-hmm. and um, the person a blackmailer so I say how oh, can if you're blackmailing somebody it means that you know something that the person does not want anybody else to know mm-hmm. that is the purpose of a blackmail so if you're saying that you know about the affair what's the purpose of him blackmailing her that doesn't make any sense yes Yes. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then he said to me, um, she didn't, she never drive our vehicle. Because I said, so why she never drives today? Since I should go into the lawyer office, why didn't she drive? He said she stopped driving our vehicle because the guy know the type of car that she drives. Mm-hmm. And he might threaten her. Mm-hmm. So he he rehearsed that because he didn't know to ask why she not drive. Yes, so he come yes. up with that. You understand me? Yes. But that's rubbish. This is that every time they come in is either the two of them or... In drop her off and in brand was in business, but my sister always drive our vehicle. You yeah, understand me? Yeah, yeah. It just doesn't make any sense and it's just not adding up. I mean, I understand it's months after they went by the house to, to check um, and forensic. Months after. Mm. You understand me? Yes. I said to the policeman on the day of the event, I said to him, there is surveillance camera at the house. Yes. Check the camera to find out the time that my sister left the house and who she left with. Because yes. my, my, my nephew keep on saying, Grandma and Auntie, two men come for mommy. Two men come for mommy. Really? So because we're there crying. So let me ask you, you oh, all of that was when? Was from in January? In, uh, yeah, all of this was the same day, the, the Friday, the same day. Okay. And all of this was said to the police. Yes. The little boy said to me, Auntie, it's two man come for mommy, it's two man come for mommy. And I left the house and I, because me, I drive around all of the hospital. Ho, 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 hold it out. How old is that child? Who, who said He's it? 12. Okay, go ahead. Uh huh. Right, and it's two man come from mommy, it's two man come from mommy. But I wasn't I wasn't processing it at the time because in our emotions mm-hmm. we're trying to figure out what's going on and we are crying you know, we're not really think straight. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Me me take up it for myself, drive around all of the hospital in Kingston, finding out if something happened I should probably admit her or something. Mm-hmm. No record of her. The nephew called me and he said, It's be a crying grandma crying and it's two man come from mommy, it's two man come from mommy. You understand me? I yes. said that to the the police. I say I know that they are minors, but find out from the kids when last did you see mommy mm-hmm. you understand me did mommy say anything to you when she was leaving yes when last did you see her none of that the kids are very important in this case because they live at the house and they can attest to a lot of things mm-hmm. they can mm-hmm. attest to a lot of things so do you, you know do you know if the police interviewed any of the kids they did not they did not even when even after you tell them are you, to, you told the investigator all of this I told them everything. Everything that I'm telling you. No, you said you said them, but did you did the person who is investigating it? You told him? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. The excuse is that, you know, they are minors and they cannot question the kids without his consent, which I do understand. We, mm-hmm. But but without 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 whose consent. So with, with, without whose consent? The suspect's consent. The father's consent. Yeah, go ahead. Uh-huh. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I get that. However, you can question the kids in in the presence of a guardian or even the yes. attorney. Yes. You understand yeah. me? So mm-hmm. you telling me that you cannot question the kids because their manner is rubbish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's rubbish. You understand me? And the kids are very vital to the matter because they know a lot and they've seen a lot and they're very smart children, which is why they're nowhere to be found because they know the minute them start questioning the kids, that is it. Yes, 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 yes. And yes. he knows it. So, and you have no, because we were told that some doctor or somebody have had the kids. You, you heard mm-hmm. that? You heard that? Yeah, and when I called her, she said that she don't have them anymore. They had left. Okay. Let me ask you, straightforward. Why do you think he would have wanted something to happen to your sister? Because he told me that my sister was having an affair. And let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. If he thinks that my sister is having an affair for no other reason, mm-hmm. and for the same reason that he said the same person that my sister was having the affair with is the same person that my sister was giving the money to, he's mm-hmm. going to kill her for that. Okay. He's going to kill her for that. So you, you, no so you have the view that once in find out that she had she she, she having an affair, he might get with her? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. What another another question? Why? Because to me, in my mind, I think he's being protected. Why do you think he's being protected? Because he's a very affluent man and he's very well known. He's known by a lot of people, Minister of Health. Every minute you call Chantel, she have a pan dinner with Christopher Tufton and her husband. Mm. He's very well known and he's a very affluent man. And you know exactly what that means in Jamaica. Okay. Okay. You understand? He he he's, he's known by a lot of people. He's big in politics. Yes. You understand me? Both parties. Both parties. Yes. Both parties. PMP think he's PMP and JLP think he's JLP. Okay. Both parties. I understand. You that. understand yes, me? Yes. 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 So for for that reason alone, he's a contractor. He does construction. You understand me? He's and he ha- he gets big projects. Yes. You understand me? Yes. He gets a lot of big projects and he knows a lot of affluent people and he knows a lot of people with status and standard. So because of that, and I see where, as, doesn't really matter. And I see where him do a lot of work at some police station. So he would have known some yeah. police. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. I mean, we were not asking for the police to bring back my sister alive mm-hmm. because yes. me know from the moment can him go tell me say him leave her all about me yes. say yeah man that is it because yes. I know he's not gonna do that. Yes. What we wanted was just a thorough investigation. Of course, that, yeah. Understand me? It pain mm-hmm. my heart to know that the kids are in um, the care of this man and he did this to their mother. Mm-hmm. You understand me? He mm-hmm. did this to their mother and they're in his care. You mm. can mean we all we needed was just a thorough investigation. You're doing you, you haven't checked the surveillance at the house mm. months later. You understand me? We have done the funny thing is and why I know there's corruption in this case and I'm living not ask Christ. Yes. When they found the remains in the country and I went up there, right? It was done in some bush, right? When they when they found when, the fo- when they found the remains. Go ahead, go, go again. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, when they found the remains in the country, and I went up there. So you went there the, the same. You went there the same day. Yeah, I went ah. there the same evening. Okay. The same evening, mm-hmm. and um, they said that we'd have to come to go to the Spanish Town Hospital in order to view it, right? Mm-hmm. When I went to the Spanish Town Hospital, I was there, and remember, I know it was wrapped in trapaulin, and you know. I, I had said, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had said something about trapaulin because I am told that that trapaulin would have been well. You have anything to say about the chapalin? I have a, yeah, because the, the chapalin was left at the, the the spot of the remains. They did not take the chapalin. All they took was the head skull, the piece of bone. So the chapalin, you, you know, you know, you know anything about the chapalin before that date? Because we were no. told that that chapalin was from your sister's house. Yes, that's what my said. She said that chapalin is for the trampoline that they had Ch- there. Trampoline, she yes. She recognized it. Yes. She recognized the trampoline from the trampoline that they had there. Okay. And my thing is, why would you leave the trampoline? That is very, very, very important. You better you left the head skull because you can't get forensic off a head skull. You can't get um, sample off a head skull. Like, you cannot do, like, what am I put it? Like, fingerprint or anything mm-hmm. like that. The trampoline is very vital. Another thing, hold on. You're, you're, go back to your thought. You were saying something about when you were at the Spanish Town Hospital. You know that it was Yeah. Called, yes. 
Yes. Why, when they took the remains out of the body bag and all, I saw that they left the chapalin. Yes. And they stated that they sent back for the chapalin. So maybe like, okay. but that doesn't make any sense. Why would you leave the chapalin? So mm-hmm. I know there's a lot of foul, foul play and I know there's a lot of corruption because seeing as crime, you have to look around and you have to figure out, no man, we need to take up this, this looking important, we need to carry this. And you will leave the most important thing, which is the chapalin where the body did wrap up, you know. All right. Something fishy. The, the day when, you, when, the, when the remains were found, the investigator was present or it was another set of police officers? Another set of police were there first and then the investigator went after. He okay. was the one that took the trap all in. Okay. You know, easy. Trust me, you know. And Shane, is, he's just all, of, all over the world. Because the last time he's I was told... all over to- the place. Uh, the last time I was told he was in England. Yeah, because when they went, when MID went to his house, mm-hmm. right? The, the day after they went to his house is when he leave the country. And, and and the police that had the case before told us that his travel documents were seized. So me that I like to ask him if I bought him tech. So the police who is investigating it, him tell you say before that before that day, him tell us it changed documents were seized, travel documents. Not the MID, the okay. first set of police that were on the case that, okay. that were from CID. Okay. They are from halfway tree. Okay. They told us that my mom and I that his travel documents were seized because we were concerned of him leaving the country and yes. taking the kids. Yes. Right? And they said to us, We don't have to worry about that because his travel documents were seized. Yes. You understand me? Yes. And then we came up the knowledge that that is not true because the day after them went by the house, this man leave the country. And you haven't heard from him or know if he come back since that? No, I don't know if he is now. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, you're keeping safe though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try and keep safe because, you know, people powerful and if two men come three men can come this time so just just stay make sure uh-huh. you say, make sure you're staying safe and you know take all your safety precautions and but trust me um we're not left it you know we're not gonna leave it because she no deserve what she get even if she have man i can't do what he must say she no deserve it none at all but the marriage is practically over because him have him home until the same day the police then went by the house mm-hmm. to to search the house him have icky big and bold pan neck yeah. <laughs> so is the two of them the the the, the is like the two of them decide to do they want to do but yet still when she wanna move on with her life, you you have to come to this like who are you? We you think you've got or something? You said they went there you to you said, you said when they went there to search the house. That was you, you are saying that was that was how long after she went missing? Like three months. <laughs> three months. Mm. And that search three what it, that search what it entails, what they did. They did any yeah. forensic tests or anything? Well, they did, but he came back with nothing because the house was perfectly clean. Mm. Everything was removed from the house. Mm. Everything was removed from the house. All right. And then now, at this point, they're going to ask about surveillance camera, like surveillance um, footage, like three months after. Yeah, man, that wipe off. That wipe off. That wipe off. That wipe off already. And from the very moment, my thing was mm-hmm. talk to the children, check the surveillance camera so you can know exactly what time she left. Yes. You understand that's all they needed to do and this case would have done with how much months ago. That's mm. all they needed to do. Check the surveillance camera. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Mm. Ask the kids, when last did you see mommy? You understand me? Did mommy say anything to you? You don't have to ask them more than three questions. You understand me? None of that. Not up until this point, none of that. Is and when the police went there and was searching the place, the kids were there? No, nobody was no, there. Nobody was there. Out and oh. everything. No, only the that, husband and the lawyer went there. The, that house is where? In Ligani. Oh, Ligani. So, okay. Mm-hmm. So, you yes, said so they move out from that house? Yeah, they don't live there anymore. Long time they move out. Okay, okay. Now, BCP Fitzbailey, the MID, Major Investigation Division. I saw it name. The JCF. This one no pass the smell test at all. In fact, this one stinks. This one, it appears as if the investigators, they are just waiting for it to go away. If an assault go, it no look good. Communication is key in matters like these. Yeah, we know you are overwhelmed, but communication is key. This one, it is looking like it have cover up written all over it. And we now leave it alone. DCP Fitzbailey and the persons you lead. If you want persons to have faith in your capabilities, if you want persons to have faith in the JCF, you know how to do better than this. Shane Makala, yeah man, you, Shane Makala, if you feel you are going to sit out this one, 
and it a go go away. Or it is a 9 day talk. You have a next guest coming. You know exactly what happened to your wife. And we are not going to let it rest. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody.